Hello, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. The new patch is out, patch 4.56. The final story-based patch of the expansion, the patch that will lead us into Shadowbringers. Uh, for those of you who have forgotten, which included me, so I had to go back and watch a couple of things, in patch 4.5, quite a few things happened. We went with Alize to Matoya to see if she could aid us in finding where the hell everybody's souls were disappearing to. And we helped Hien raise a massive border, um, a big energy wall, so that the Garleans could not fly over their lands and attack that way. We also went with, um, what's his face? Gaius, we found Gaius again. Uh, he is alive, he has, he escaped the ruins where we did battle with Ultima and uh, has been helping a resistance of sorts take revenge on the Asians with a considerable amount of success by the look of all the masks on his belt. And then we had a peace conference with Xenos, uh, who we know is not Xenos, and that did not go very well. It could have gone very well, but no. Everybody on both sides was a bit meh. And uh, then we went through the Gimlet Dark dungeon and the patch ended pretty much with Alize getting taken in the Soul Search quest and Xenos arriving at the Alamegan border for something. Something. And we'll find out, I'm assuming, what that something is today. So yes, it is the 26th of March. The new patch has literally hit today and we are going to find out what happens in a brief reprieve. Hoi Boulder's sullen expression suggests he has no news to share, which in this case may not mean good news. See what they did there. No news is good news, but maybe not in this case. Ah, Demogen. Yours is a welcome face indeed in these troubled times. Though if you come to inquire about our stricken brothers and sisters, I'm afraid I have naught to report. Colton and the others continue their tireless search for answers, and I too have done all in my power to assist them. Alas. But wait! Uh, I don't know who's saying this. My apologies for the intrusion. I was told Master Alphano had been brought here and wished to see if his condition had improved. Who is this? It's... The resistance. I've forgotten who this guy is. Oh, it's Maxima. Oh, of course, Maxima, who was um, part of the, the the kind of raiding party that we found destroyed. Um, he seems to have defected. Mistress Demogen, I have heard about the part you played in driving back the Empire's forces. Thank you. That you were able to stop them, if only for a short while, gives me hope. Yes, he was part of the the envoy that was guiding um, Alfino to Golemold. And their, their ship was shut down. Shut down? Shut down. I realize how strange such words must sound coming from a Garlean's lips, but I speak them out of the love I bear for my homeland because I wish to see an end to the bloodshed. That is why I chose to share all I know with the Alliance. Though I will surely be branded a traitor, I am content to bear that ignominy. It will seem a small price to pay if it helps to prevent this conflict from escalating any further. But enough of my prattling. The war is not what brought me all this way. I, wish I came to see Master Alphano. An acquaintance of Demogen and Alphano, eh? Well, far be it from me to turn away good company. If you'll follow me, sir. Which way are they going? There isn't anything in that direction, is there? I thought there was a table and a wall. <laughs> or is there a door that we've just never been allowed through? When word reached me that Alphano had returned, it seemed only right that I visit him. Poor lad, it pains me to see him thus, but I take solace in the knowledge that he is safe and well cared for. He fought valiantly at the burn. The burn was the name of the, uh, the place where they got shut down. The Popularis could not have wished for a more committed ally. 
I know not how he came to be so afflicted, but I pray a cure will be found soon. I don't think it will. On an unrelated note, you may be interested to know that I travelled here in the company of another acquaintance of yours. He awaits my return at North Silverton, and I am certain he would be glad to see you, assuming you can spare the time, that is. Is this Gaius? No, Gaius would not be glad to see us. Oh, maybe he would. It's possible. C'est possible. Okay. Bye, Hoi. That is... Oh, every time I get the goodbye emote wrong. Because the text says, wishes you farewell. Or at least I think it does. I actually have it turned off, always. Um, I always think the goodbye emote is slash farewell. It is not. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let us head to Silvertear. Quite a few random quests. What's that? Morbid motivation? No idea what that is. Um, Silvertear is the other way. Where is he? A brief reprieve. Ba, 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 ba. We'll notice that because Thancred is not wearing his eye patch in the cutscene, well, the cutscene, the trailer, uh, I have taken to wearing it instead. I'm also wearing Squall's outfit. I don't really know why. I've only recently figured out how the glamour plate system works. Who have we got? Maxima and... Oh, it's Sid. Is it Sid? It is Sid. Ah, there you are. I was beginning to think you would not come. We haven't seen Sid as part of the MSQ for quite some time. In fact, not since... Not since 4.0, I think. He may have appeared briefly in other places. It sounds like you've been to the mill. You should have called me. Though I must confess, tracking down missing souls isn't exactly within my field of expertise. As you may have surmised, I heard much of Master Garland growing up in Garlemald. Indeed, he has long been a source of inspiration to me. Most Garlians would say he's a traitor, that he turned his back on his country. We of the populars, however, to consider him a revolutionary. A man willing to defy the Empire's dreams of subjugation that his inventions might bring about a better future for all of mankind. Please, revolutionary is a term best reserved for my work. I am but an imperial defector who thought to aid another imperial defector. Whatever Master Garland, sa uh, Master Garland says, I am humbled to find myself in such distinguished company. Speaking of distinguished company, we heard from Raban that you ran into an old friend in the burn. Is it true? Gaia still lives. Not. Like most in the army, I had never had the privilege of seeing the Legatus without his mask, so I think I worked halfway across the burn in the presence of the Black Wolf. And he claimed to have severed ties with the Empire to hunt Assins, did he? Heh. <laughs> After his humbling at the Praetorium, one would think he'd have the good sense to stay dead. Should we meet him again, I shall be sure to tell him so. <laughs> Commander Aldin still spoke of the Alliance's meeting with the Emperor, though I still labour to believe what he told us. Did his radiance really claim that Argalamold was founded by the Assins? The Alliance's meeting with the Emperor? We didn't meet with the Emperor, did we? Maybe we did. Maybe my brain isn't working. It is early in the day. Not. But that is madness. The very notion is absurd. I mean, it's correct. Every fibre of my being rails against it. And yet I see there is no escaping the truth. From the very founding of my homeland, my brothers and sisters have laid down their lives in service to a lie. The Assyrians must be stopped. To save my people. To save all peoples. For all the Empire's many crimes, even I did not suspect. Had I known, I would have left a lot sooner. But... That is the past. Here is the present. We must apply ourselves in the problem of how the Empire's ambitions may be thwarted. Not only in Eorzea, but in the Far East as well. The Ironworks will spare no effort to achieve that end. Syria's war was a good start, but we can do more, and we will. 
We'll show them what it means to achieve freedom through technology. That, of course, being the Ironworks Maxim. Motto. In your pardon, I bear a message for the Warrior of Light. Oh, great. From whom, and for what, and why? Commander Alden requests your presence at Alliance Headquarters in Alamigo. he would discuss matters of strategy at your earliest convenience. Okay. Ah, yes, the inevitable messenger. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't be long before duty called you away. Time no doubt being of the essence could attempt you to arrive aboard the Excelsior. If this is a faster way to a barn side, I would personally apologise to the commander for keeping him waiting. Well, the return spell, technically, but... Whatevs. You have entered a sanctuary. I like how, as the game has progressed, they have finally started telling us, teleporting us places in cutscenes. Well, they've done it before, but they used to make us walk a lot. Uh, where actually has it put us? Uh, it's put us in the middle of the locks, apparently. Didn't expect that. Uh, Sid? I swear every time you board my airship, you seem to be barreling headlong into danger, and every time you somehow contrive to emerge victorious, which of course is an admirable skill. But no one is invincible, Demogen, not even you, so please take care of yourself out there. I pray you remain safe on the front lines. Though ill-equipped to join the fray, I shall do all I can to assist from HQ. My colleagues and I have been tasked with evacuating casualties by air. See that you aren't among them, eh? Okay, resistance fighter. A reward, a mystery box. A requiem for heroes. Despite the apparent urgency of Raban's summons, the resistance fighter seems content to wait for your signal to proceed. <laughs> I, I love how the little contrivances of quest giving and quest taking is built into the, the, the story text. Commander Alden is waiting, my lady. It would be best if we proceeded to Alliance HQ at once. Quest accepted. And do I have to talk to him? Are you ready? Yes. Yes, I am. Where actually is the Alliance HQ? In the locks. I feel like I should know. Oh, we're back to the place where we entered the Gimlet Dark. It's been a while since I did this. Uh-oh. Vaban looks like he has a instant solo mission for us. They're always fun. And I actually haven't played on my Dark Knight for a while. Good, you're here. Well, you're here, good. I summoned you to discuss strategy, but first I'd apprise you of the Guardian's movements. Upon speaking with Vaban, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety. Commence battle for a requiem for heroes. Go on then. I've set aside all afternoon because I knew this would be happening. They always give this message. I even have a full glass there of have H2O. Been several skirmishes along the border, but as yet neither side has delivered a decisive blow. We had long assumed that the Garleans would overwhelm us in a straight fight, but we seem to be gaining ground, albeit slowly. As to why that might be, the most likely explanation is that they have yet to commit all their forces. Still, we're winning. Mm. Our latest intelligence suggests the Emperor has retreated back to Garlemald. We are winning. In light of this, we're considering launching an offensive with the aim Ooh. of pushing the front line forward. Danger. And giving ourselves some room to breathe. Hmm. Commander, the Imperials. They've broken through our defences to the east. Surprise! What? It's a ruse. Our scouts say their forces are being led by Lord Xenos. But Lord Heon and Commander Hext have taken their troops to provide support. But we don't know how long they can hold out. So, they've been biding their time, waiting for his arrival, have they? Yes. Yes, they have. Very well. 
Send word to our allies, requesting reinforcements for the front line. Should the worst come to the worst, I may need to enter the fray myself. But what of you? Do you still- uh, Don't you dare kill the barn! You need only say the word. I hate that emote. Much obliged. Given the choice, I'd take you over a hundred soldiers. Me too. Wait. I might actually have to take. Oh, ah. Why won't they open? Please, I bid you open. Story. Uh, oh! It's brought us to our knees. What's wrong? Is it the voice again? It certainly is. Not. Are you sure you're in a fit state to do this? Not really. <laughs> With a damn champion. May Ralga grant us strength. Yes. And plot armor. Give him hell, lass. Please update I, the textures part, on his cloak. Defend this place to my dying breath. Yeah, you know, I love Final Fantasy XIV for all it's done, uh, but it is a game where everything looks better further away. <laughs> then, oh, see. Up close, everything just looks... Uh-oh. Is he... He and versus Xenos. Oh, and Lise. Lise has got a... Blade. Ian hasn't drawn his sword. Oh! Bam, bam. Are we going to get a cutscene of them fighting? Oh, no. Are we... What are we doing? Uh, oh, no, we are here. Oh, crap. Um, <laughs> what do we have? We've got Second Wind. We've got... Damage over time. Rushes. Up! Ready? Oh, this is casted. I forgot that they were doing this. Uh, how much HP is that going to recover? The boy of lights is left alive at headquarters. Uh, Seven thousand. Right. I've got no stun. Not a lot I can do about that. Oh, the, the heal is on quite a long cooldown. Fortunately, somebody is healing us. I'm not entirely sure who. Soon I shall give the lie to man's indomitable spirit. Will you really, Xenos? Uh, I have no idea what to do for this one. That, apparently. So there's a new knockback marker. Or it might not be new. It may be in several raids and stuff. But, uh... I haven't done any of the raids in a while. The Boy of Light is still nowhere in sight. Great. Durrani. Yeah, somebody is healing us. Fight and struggle if that is your want. But you will not escape. Oh, here we go. No. I don't think that was hard to deal with that. <laughs> I don't think there's any escape in that. No. Our fate is not for you to decide. Yeah, somebody's randomly healing me. Enough! You will learn your place. Uh-oh. 
Behold, a taste of my true power. Shadow's grasp. Oh no! We are down for the count. Oh. What is this sorcery? I may know Habakiri! Art of the sword. Oh no, you don't! Here it comes! Nice work, Lise. Oh! Lise, no! Cat, no! If we will bring all to bear, then so power. must me. We. Yugiri! What you doing? Oh. The art of my forebears. Countered! We must protect Lise! Ha! Still, you choose to struggle against the inevitable. Yes! The void of light is but a few hundred yards away! I like this little contrivance. Also, it's cool playing as all these different characters. When they first allowed us to do it with Alphano, uh, back in whatever patch it was, um, it was very, very cool indeed. That's what we're supposed to do with that. Come on, Demogen, hurry up, you tardy warrior of light. Are people parachuting in over there? I'm assuming we have to bring him down to a certain health percentage. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about this. Though we can do that. She comes, does she? Oh. Oh. No. Strike him roll. Parry, deflect. Break his posture. Fall, fiend. Stabby. The last time you went to attack him. Oh, dear. Oh, that didn't work. You get it. Ching. Oh. Are we going to step in heroically? Damn you! Oof! Jeez! Oh, so that's where his mask gets smashed. Oh. Come on, me! Toddy! I suppose we do have to solo the entire Gimlet Dark to get there. Skid! Magic with a Garlean body. <laughs> That's hardly fair. He's not Garlean, though, is he? He's an Asian. Still, he must be stopped, no matter the cost. Indeed. D he's got three swords still. Didn't he break one? Oh. Don't you dare take Hien's sword. Ah, here we go. It's about time we showed up. I think maybe for this I should have worn some slightly more appropriate armor. Um, the squall outfit. Ah, bringer of light. Love Zeus's voice. It has acting. been too long. He's so chill and slightly psychotic. No words to mark our reunion. <laughs> yeah, because we're fond of talking. <laughs> so be it. Equilibrium must be restored. And That's only the Asian talking. Will redress the balance. I'm assuming we're going to have to fight here. Ah. And I very quickly. Take off the headgear. Uh, right. Oh, that's the wrong button. As I said, I haven't played on my... Um... In fact, that might screw me up. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's... Uh... Triple. Oh, he's... 
He's cheating. He's using Asian magic. Ooh, that was a nice uh, crit. Fortunately, I'm a Dark Knight, so I can heal myself. Mind you, he is doing quite a bit in the way of damage. Flood of Darkness. Uh, is this going to get... Ooh, snip! No. Ba, 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 ba. This may take a while. Uh, I'm assuming. Oh. Nope. Ah. Dodging and weaving. Nope. Ah. Whoop. Hey, I still get hit by that. Oh no, I got paralyzed in mid jump. Oh yeah, I should probably put salted earth down, shouldn't I? You are strong, Winger of Light, but her blessing will avail you not. Uh oh. We shall see about this. Oh, snap. How long do I have? That's his... Oh, balls. Swell. Darn, not quite. Oh. Ow! Duty failed. Ow? Is that going to put us all the way back? Oh, jeez, it is. Ugh, okay, this may take a while. Okay, we made it through. Made it through that. But, what's next? He's got purple balls. Oh. It's a bullet hell. Gonna paralyze me. I was not expecting bullet hell. Take it. Ha. 
As I said, I haven't played Dark Knight in ages. So this is all a bit... Ah, um, oh, triple. Just make sure I don't get uh, crit at least. Stop saying weak, Xenos. You can say it as much as you want. It doesn't make it true. And he's going to say it quite a lot, it seems. Humble Rays. Is this the... So why is this not lots? There we go. Oh, it's all gone to bits. This is a really cool fight, actually. I was a little bit annoyed um, that I have had to do it twice, but the actual fight itself, especially this bit, you know, the bullet hell aspect of it. Um. I don't think that's how you're supposed to do that. <laughs> but whatever. Yeah. Flood of darkness. He's almost dead. Lightless spark. I see. I see. I see you falling over. Sort it. Your mother chose her champion well. Indeed. Yet, for all your strength, you will still fail. Probably. Ah. Oh. No. Oh, balls. Please. I beseech you. We don't need this now. Someone calls to you. Zeno says it. Too late, alas. Stab. Wait. Oh, or not. I haven't been here in a while. At last, I found you. Hello, mysterious voice. Ah, crystal-handed man. Cat thing. Oh, we got a slightly better view of his face there. It looks like he's changing into crystal. Please, there's no cause for alarm. It is great here. Though, I confess, this is not where I had intended to meet. <laughs> or the best time, really. But the place of our meeting is of no consequence. Like the war you wage. Win or lose, the path you walk leads only to oblivion.
The better path leads you here, to me. I have need of your strength. Great. I think we may have just got stabbed to death, though. Who are you? The big mystery! You have a unique character model, I must know. I'm afraid such questions will have to wait. We have precious little Damn it. time, and your work is not yet done. This is an Asian hood, I've just realised. Crystal Tower. I have left something for you near its base. It will serve as a beacon of sorts. One which I pray will help you. An ethereal beacon. All you need do is find it. I will take care of the rest. Yes, he is wearing Asian robes, but with additional layers of colouring. Also, that doesn't seem to have clipped properly with his arm. Hmm. What's this around my neck? Soon, we will throw wide the gate. And the path to the first will be yours to walk at last. We're going to the first? <laughs> I think we all knew this by now. It's a shame that this couldn't have been before the Tokyo Fan Fest. Because then it would have just come as a massive surprise to everybody, as opposed to anybody who's watched anything from Fan Fest knowing exactly what's going to happen in Shadowbringers. Oh, hi! Little page boy, I've forgotten your name. Um. Um, 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 oh, does that mean everybody else is awake as well? Hello? Oh, what's the kid's name? Um. You're awake. Thank heavens. I've forgotten. Hello, Emmerich. It's been a while. How long's it been? What happened? Do you recall the confrontation with Xenos? You were the first to come to the aid of Mistress Lise and the others on the front line. Yes, remember that much. Took me a while to get there. In the midst of your duel, it is said you faltered and that the Crown Prince seized the opportunity to deliver a mortal blow. Remember that as well? Yet before his blade could find its mark, he was distracted by the arrival of a second adversary who bore you away from the battlefield and into the hands Boom. of our virgins. We don't remember this bit. Lest you wonder, he left before you awoke. <laughs> As is his wont. Who? Flashback? Oh, Estinian! Of course it is. Estinian never was one for emotional failure. He's literally the only person that has the strength to stand up against Xenos, I imagine, because he's absorbed so much ether from his time as Nidhogg. Though Xenos bested all before him, the battle clearly took its toll, for he retreated huh. shortly after your rescue. Seeing this, the remaining Imperial forces decided discretion was the better part of valour and pulled back. Allowing us to so is he still alive position. then? Well, alive. We have since received word of renewed unrest in the provinces, doubtless inspired by the efforts of the Aeorzean Alliance and our Far Eastern allies. Okay. Nor does the good news end there. We have also come into possession of intelligence suggesting unrest within the Imperial Court. Oh. So is the Populares having an effect? This would certainly explain why both the Emperor and Lord Xenos appear to have abandoned the fight. Have they been stabbed in the back? That would be hilarious. A long-awaited ray of hope in these dark So that times. explains why we were in Ishgard, because Estinian rescued us. These are dark times. Times without hope.
Is Alize alright? She's the only one I really care about. I'm assuming they're still weak, I'm afraid. But please. Yeah. Concentrate on your own recovery for now. You have carried the hopes of some very pretty bottles. Nations, and we are all eternally grateful for your efforts. But no one is without their limits, not even you. Limit breaking, damn it. Leave this fight to us, my friend. You have earned your rest. I guess I will. Ah, but before I forget... I was asked to deliver a message as soon as you awoke. Of course you were. Every time. And we shall run off. A reminder that you are not alone, though many of your allies have fallen. And who sent this message? When you are well and rested, you are to return home. Where friends will be waiting for Home? You. To Limsa? Now, if you will oh, excuse me, I must to... return to the front. May um, we meet again soon. Under happier circumstances. Weren't we told that we'd always got a home with Lord Watts' face in Ishgard? Cheers, Estinian. I wonder whether they ever actually designed a version of his outfit where his hood was put up. Hmm. Well, this is a most unexpected surprise. I thought you can find a bed. Ah, yes. Lord Fortomp. When I heard that you collapsed on the field of battle, I confess I feared the worst. But with you standing here before me, I see now that the reports of your defeat were greatly exaggerated. Thank the fury. As long as we have you, Mistress Blackthorn, history suggests we have a fighting chance. Speaking of fighting, you may be surprised to hear that the war's efforts can already be felt even here in Ishgard. In anticipation of a need for reinforcements, Arturo, Artroel, Ar I can't remember how to pronounce his name. Artuarel, I think it is, will soon be departing for the front lines with a contingent of our finest knights. I would advise you to stay until your strength had returned, but I know it would be an exercise in futility. Yes. Can't move forward with the main story quest if we don't uh, get moving. Indeed, I suspect you've already decided on your next destination. The Crystal Tower, yes. Dark dies lie ahead, of that I have no doubt, but the light of hope shall ever guide our steps so long as we have the will to press onward. And press onward we must. Farewell, my friend. I pray our next meeting will be under happier circumstances. Probably not, though. Thank you, Count Edmond. Ba, ba, ba. Haven't heard this music in a while. Uh, returning to the Rising Stones, I guess. I do love that piece of music. I, I mean, I, I can say that about pretty much every single piece of music in this game. It's all so good. Uh, this way. I always get turned around when teleporting to Mordona because it never puts you in the same place twice. Well, at least it doesn't feel like it. Uh, let's... No. Let's get rid of Dark Side's aura. Because it tends to get in the way. Although it just looks like they've turned it off for cutscenes now. Ooh. There are people here. Who are you guys? I feel like I should know who these people are. I mean, Horibald and Tataru, obviously, we do know. Back from the Far East, it seems. <gasps> yes, I'm awake. And I'm on my own. Sorry, folks. Hi. <gasps> By the Twelve, I don't believe it. <laughs> believe it. Are we gonna get a big? Ta no, no, we're gonna. We're not gonna get a tattoo hug. Oh, but we're gonna get a cry. 
Them shimmery eyes. Just pat her on the head. Little potato. I rushed back as soon as I could. And changed your clothes. I swear, my heart nearly stopped when I heard you'd collapse like the others. What in heaven's name is going on? Well, it may take a while. Like, three months or so before we find out exactly what is going on. I'm sure... I'm assuming this is the last quest in the patch. A Requiem for Heroes. Because that's what the patch is called. Win or lose, the path you walk leads only to a <laughs> oh, Well, that's helpful. Strongly agree. Indeed. And what else did he say? The better path leads to him? Hmm. hmm. If his is the voice you've all been hearing, perhaps the others are with him. But yeah, we didn't really get a chance to ask. Sir Emmerich said the fighting had reached a stalemate, didn't he? But if that monster masquerade in as Xenos comes back... Thancred, Yastola, Urianje, Alphano, Alize, You're going to need all of them on your side to defeat him. And I forbid you from going to face him on your own. Do you hear me? Okay, then. So if you must leave, go and find the others. Bring them home. I like the way that they've taken their, arguably their most successful villain um, from all the, the expansions in the face and form of Xenos. And we defeated him. And they've still found a way of tying it into the larger narrative arc. That is that is well written uh, and well played, Square. Um, because we got to experience a lot of Xenos throughout Stormblood. Uh, and whilst I might not necessarily have liked the the kind of initial bits and pieces of Stormblood, I think, I think most of the stuff up to about patch 4.2, 4.3 um, was a little bit... I'm not going to say badly written, just not as exciting as it could have been. Um, the stuff with the Emperor and the renewed focus on the Asians, and obviously now what we're going to do with regards to the first, is it's much more down my alley. I mean, war stories are fine. I've got no problem with war stories. In fact, one of my favorite Final Fantasy games, Final Fantasy XII, is a war story. Um, but in an MMO it's not as easy to tell a good story, I don't think, of that nature. I mean, World of Warcraft is all about war between two factions, and they've struggled to tell a decent war story for 14 years, or whatever it is. Anyway. Come on, just pet her. You know you want to. Hello. Nod. She's such an emotional wreck, Mr. Tarry. As for where to start, you said the stranger had left a beacon for you at the Crystal Tower, right? Yes. But how are you to find it now that the tower has been sealed shut? Ah, well. I don't actually know. <laughs> there has to be a way. If anyone would know, it's Sid and the researchers of St. Coinax find. That's how you pronounce that. Don't you worry. Coin we'll find that beacon for you. Uh, but, but I want to go and find it now. Jazz hands. Ooh. We've made everything on the desk shake. <sighs> Meanwhile, in the Imperial Palace. Let's find out what's going on with... Solus. Ba, 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 ba. Ba ba. Ha 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 ha. Uh oh, those two are back. I pray you have good reason for abandoning the front. Mm-hmm. How could I remain there while the rumor that my son is possessed by a demon spreads like a sickness here at home? I will not be made to fight for the throne a second time. Oh, yeah, he is the Emperor. Duh, sorry. I was thinking that we'd had the... 
the, the, the parlay with Xenos because I'm a complete muppet. Um, I, 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 no. No, that's not what I thought. I keep thinking of the Emperor as Solus. Now he's been revealed as still being alive. But no, we had the the actual peace conference with Varys, didn't we? This is what this, this is the one problem with having story being drip fed throughout the course of several months. You do forget things. And whilst I did kind of quickly w flip through the wiki um, to remind myself of what happens, um, what I should have done probably is gone back and actually watched all of my old videos um, to remind me. But what of you? Did you not tell me you would destroy Eorzea's champion with the ease Burn one might from Varys? Yeah. A minor setback. She will not escape me again. Yes. Oh, and he Where did kick her ass. Sire? I would have word with him. How should I know? Do you hide from each other's sight as well? Huh? I imagine he's doing what all Asians do. Causing chaos. Hmm. He must have found a way to take advantage of this turmoil. Men are not pawns to be played with, Asian. You underestimate us at your peril. This I still think Varys's face is really humans. weird. Man must choose his own fate, and I, for my part, will do all within my <sighs> power to see Garlemald emerge victorious. Hmm. Stalking off. It looks a lot like um, the Lich King's helmet there. Ah, Chief Researcher. Pray forgive the intrusion, Your Radiance. Oh radiant, no, he's dead, isn't he? requested preparations are now complete. Requested preparations for what? We stand ready to begin production of oh. Black Rose upon your order. Crap, I thought we destroyed that. Dramatic pause. Silence. A look towards the symbology of the state for inspiration. A moment of consideration. And a fade to black. Oh, whoa. Oh, Solace has taken over Varus's body. Yeah. That grin and that fade to black, that's that's why uh, the, the grandsire is no longer around, because he has possessed his great-grandson, and he's going to take direct control. That big grin is very characteristic. And we're going to get the, uh, the full-on credits, I think, here. That's Lise, isn't it? I don't think I've seen that artwork before. I'm sure that's in one of the, uh, the various Stormblood art books. Ba, ba. So, it's not a huge setup for what is going to happen, oh, he um, but we got our first look at the in-game model of what I'm assuming is, I, I can't even remember how to pronounce his name, is it Glartia? Something like that. The, um, the cat with the Allegan eye. Um, or at least a version of him. But he does seem to be some kind of gatekeeper of maybe the timeline, maybe the the kind of different fragments of Hydaelyn. Be interesting to see exactly where they go with that storyline. What happened to Yagiri and Hien, actually, and Lise, because they got their asses kicked in that fight. I wonder if it will give us the, uh, the name Gosetsu Melwib 
I'm assuming they'll just put him as enigmatic figure in the credits. I can't remember what happened to Fordola. She was set up as a really interesting character. Did she just get killed? I can't remember. Magna and Sadu were the, um, the Aura lovers. Not lovers. Tansui, I'm not a clue. Monago is one of the resistance fighters. They haven't scaled the font very well in this credits, I'm noticing. I don't know if it's just because I'm playing at 1440p. That's a really entertaining piece of artwork. He... Solace. Alexander Wolf, didn't he do the voice for other people as well? Maybe that's why some of the characters sound a little bit on the, uh, the similar side. And... Fade to black. Is there more? Just normal credits. So that is the end of Stormblood. And they're not giving us an option to skip them. Unless I have to press uh, escape. And that seems to take us back to the Rising Stones. Oh, we can at least finish the quest. Will there be more cutscenes? I knew you'd be all right. And to celebrate your return, I made you this. A brand... Ooh! A new outfit! Ahem. And now is not the time to fuss over your measurements. I must go and speak with the researchers at St. Corinux Find. You go and rest while we track down that beacon. Scion Traveler's Mask. Oof. Uh Ooh Ooh That Looks rather swanky A quest completes More cutscenes Back in the Gimlet Dark, or at least in the battle on the battlefield. Is this the traitor guy? Ooh. He's been upgraded. Was that the, the effect for the resonant? My enemy. My friend. Had I been but a step faster. I, I don't know. I can't remember what this guy is. I'm sure he's something to do with Black Rose. Bloody savages! Oh dear, sir. Slice! A pity your hunt leads you elsewhere. Your hunt? Not that I am surprised. Is this actual Xenos? Has, Z has Xenos, through the power of the resin, actually got himself a new body? Was his body's been taken over by Lydibus? Because that sounded like him. And the fact that he's mentioned a hunt as well. May you find joy in it. It is. Grow stronger, more savage. And save her every triumph. So Xenos, 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 the real Xenos is still alive. In the meantime, I will reclaim that which is rightfully mine. I'm sure I could have figured this out earlier. 
But again, the problem with playing the patch is so split up. Ah. Because he was seen crouching over something earlier on. Oh! Are we going to end the uh, the expansion with a look at the crystal tower? Ooh, dear lord, that textures. Please, can we have some texture upgrade, Square Enix? Everything looks great from a distance. Up close, it looks rubbish. What's that flying up there? Oh. The crystal tower! It calls to us. Hmm. Hmm. Fade to black. In the midst of a requiem for heroes, a voice rings out across time and space. Not just space. In fields of tranquil light sow you seeds of darkness. Swan song. And that, of course, is... That is the point of Shadowbringers in Fields of Light on the first where light has prevailed and is basically strangling what was left of that shard's death to oblivion. Um, we are going to go there and sow darkness. But it is interesting that it says across time and space. So it's not just that we are traveling to the shard perhaps there is some part of traveling through time as well which may explain why there is a crystal tower on the first because of course the sundering happened before the crystal tower was built on the source so there can't be a reflect or there shouldn't be a reflection of it unless there was something like the allegans on the first and they went through the same process or a similar process um but yeah there we go. That is the end of the main story quest for this expansion. And we're going to have to wait. What are we now? 26th of March. So April, May, June. Three and a half months or so. Um, actually, no. Three months, two days for early access. Because you're damn straight I've got early access. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. I, the, the stuff with Xenos there, I'm sure should surprise should not surprise me i'm sure there have been hints to it if i used my brain just like the worth with with gaius uh gaius's reveal but it's interesting how they're uh, because of what i was saying earlier about how xenos has been the most successful villain so they've kept him alive little did i know that they have literally kept him alive albeit in a different body i'm gonna have to go back now and look through the various um cutscenes to find that spy figure um, because he has appeared several times. And I just hadn't put things together, like the ninny that I am. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Anyway, that is the end of the main story quest for uh, 4.5 for Stormblood. 4.x, shall we say. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed the, the series of videos as much as I've enjoyed the storyline. Um... And I will catch you all back here for more Final Fantasy XIV videos or whatever else I happen to be playing. And I shall see you all in Shadowbringers. Thanks for watching. Toodle Pimp. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and subscribe. Remember to ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, Toodle Pip.